Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. I'm Rebecca. Today we're going to be making a DIY command center to help keep our lives a little bit more organized. There's three pieces in all that we'll be making, so the supplies you're going to need for all three are listed here, and then I'll list them again before each project. So you're going to need some of these 11 by 14 frames from Dollar Tree, and I also used a frame from the thrift store, some chalkboards. You can use the Jot brand from Dollar Tree or this one from Walmart. You're also going to need some of these um, adhesive pearls or some little rhinestones or something to put on the front to help decorate it. It's really your choice. And then you're going to need some of the Crafter Square adhesive cork sheets. I used two. You'll need some ready foam board. And then you're also going to need some of these poster stickers or really any stickers that will um, spell out whatever you want to put on the top of these. You'll need some scissors, something to write with, and then you're going to need a hot glue gun to help seal up those edges on the back. Let me put them back together, a paintbrush, and some coordinating paint of your choice to match whatever decor you want to make or colors you want to use. You'll need some twine as well. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to make is the cork board. So I love how this turned out and I'm real excited to show you. So I use this 11 by 14 frame from the Dollar Tree. Again, the two sheets of Crafter Square Adhesive Cork from Dollar Tree as well. The ready foam board cut down to 11 by 14 inches. And then you can use these stickers. I have a Cricut, so I used a little bit different vinyl for mine. You're going to need scissors and some hot glue. And you'll also need a little Chanel stem to uh, make a hanger for the back. Then you're going to need your pen. And the first thing we're going to do here is just lift these little tabs up and take this backing off of our frame. Now we're going to set that aside for a few minutes, throw that piece of paper away, you don't need it, and then set this glass aside. We can use that in another project another day. So now cut down your foam board to fit an 11 by 14 size, and then you're just going to hot glue this right onto the backing that we're going to put back in this frame when we're done here. Then taking our cork sheet, we're going to lay it underneath of this ready foam board and then just draw, once we line it up, we're just going to draw along the edge so we know where to cut so we can cut these down to size. It does take two sheets because of the difference in sizes here. The cork board sheets are only eight and a half by 11. So you do need a little bit extra from the second sheets. So you're just gonna peel that backing off and be careful to really line up these corners here and the edges before you stick your sheet down so you don't waste it. And it's really hard to get back up if you don't line it up perfectly the first time. So then taking our second sheet, we're going to um, just line this up at the top. The closer you put those two sheets together, the better it is because then you don't see the little line where they are connecting at. So that's what I like about that. So then we're just going to pop this back into our frame and then we are going to push the little tabs back down. Now since it is a little bit thicker, I went ahead and put some hot glue around the outside edges on the back to make sure it was held down in. Now that ready foam board is helping so our push pins don't go all the way through this and into the wall. So using your stickers, you can write notes or whatever it is you want to put at the top of yours. I chose to write the word important, and so that's what I'm putting up here on mine. I like the pink in the gold because it matches the room that I am using these in. So using this little gold sheet of adhesive pearls, I went ahead and just put a little bit of gold accent along the sides of each part of the word here, and that was it. I just put some little push pins in there that were rose gold that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I just love how this turned out. I put a little hanger on the back. You can use your twine or a Chanel stem. So now we're going to make the chalkboard. So if you have the Jot brand chalkboard or the um, Walmart chalkboard, it doesn't really matter. I did use the Walmart chalkboard. If you use the Dollar Tree one, you'll need some of this twine to make a hanger and some different stickers or letters of your choice to put on the front. You'll also need some scissors and a hot glue gun. So all I did was take some of these gold pearls and I decided to put those on the front once I put my lettering on. So if you use the Jot brand chalkboard, you're going to want to glue a twine hanger on the back and then just put your words on the front. So again, I'm using the pink and gold because that's what matches my room. I chose to make this a small to-do list so I can put down each day what I need to do that's most important. And once those little words are on, all I did was take a strip of the gold uh, beads here and I laid that right underneath there, just stuck that down. And that was it for this one. It was super easy because the hanger for mine was already attached. But again, if you use the Dollar Tree one, you'll just want to 
glue the um, twine hanger on the back. Okay, so for the third project here, we're going to make the dry erase schedule. So I'm using this frame from the thrift store. It was $2.99 with 50% off. This used to be from Target. It's a really nice frame. If you don't have one of those or something that you can get like that, go ahead and use the 11 by 14 frames from Dollar Tree. Some of the stickers again, you'll also need the hot glue gun and a paintbrush and some paint of your choice. i showing black paint here, but I did use chalk paint for mine. So the first thing I did is I cut this little um, paper off of the back and then I pulled the staples out so I could remove this back panel. Once I had that out, I removed this white sheet of paper that was across the front of it and then I used a razor blade to scrape off the extra bit of paper here. Now I covered the back with the contact paper because I like to have a finished look that is optional. And then the inside, of course, I'm painting. So I just used the Waverly chalk paint to cover mine. It did take two coats. On the second coat, I did this little swirl pattern because I wanted to have a little bit more detail to mine. It didn't really pick up well on the camera, but I really like the way it looks. So once you're done with that and it's all dry, you're just going to replace the back and use some hot glue if you don't have any tabs to fold down or if there's tabs go ahead and fold those down and use some hot glue to attach those so then using a dry erase marker and a ruler i just marked my lines on the um, front of the glass so that i know where i'm going to put my words so at the top here i chose to write the word schedule and then i put monday through friday down the sides and then one strip of the gold pearls down the center to separate that and that helps me keep my schedules and appointments for the week and you just write right on the glass and it comes right off with the paper towel and some glass cleaners so these are all three finished i love how they turned out it's going to really help me stay organized i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share ring that bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and hit that like button if you like this video thank you guys so much for watching and here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy have a great week